I remember I opened the door and it was all just red everywhere. I just wish we had never gotten them involved in any of this. You know, if we'd been more careful, then they would still... I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> That's Mr. Washi, and that's Mrs. Dribble sitting on top of him. Wait, they're married. Why don't they have the same last name? Because she's a feminist. I remember that first day. It was so wild. <laughs> I still smile when I think about it. Laundry, 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 laundry. I've never done so many loads in one day. I mean, it was nuts. And when you're not used to that kind of lifestyle, like, yeah, it sucks you in. I was doing loads Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays. White loads, dark loads. I was wearing three, four, five pairs of underwear a day. You know, at first it was just a casual thing with friends. We came back from playing kickball. The guys came there, saw the rig. They were just like, you know, can we, can we use it? And I was like, well, yeah, but you know, throw me a few bucks. And wow. Anthony Kiedis did a load. All my ex-boyfriend's loads. Just hung out with us naked for a while. One time I did a load with my parents in the next room. A flea. Pretty much all the Red Hot Chili Peppers came over and did loads. That's how it started. All of a sudden, we were living large. We had our own personal assistant. We introduced a baby into our crew. I don't even know whose baby it was. We even got a therapy dog. We were on top of the world. Now look at me. I haven't worn clean underwear in like three weeks. I just feel bad for Stephanie. It was hardest on her. She's the one that found him. People were just, they were doing too many loads, you know? Uh, this guy that I was dating, he like stuffed his red comforter in with all of my whites. Mr. Washi had been too overstuffed. And uh, he just couldn't take it. And then Mrs. Dribbles went too. Yeah, like of a broken heart. It was, it was out of control. I don't even care about the money. I care about what happened to Mr. Washi and Mrs. Dribbles. But yeah, Eric owes me at least 100 bucks. I split the money we made perfectly evenly. Everybody got a taste. Yeah, of course I'm pissed. I mean, I have to walk six blocks to a laundromat. Yeah, yeah, there's a laundromat across the street, but you'll have to ask Eric why we can't use it. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, the laundromat thing was not my fault. And Gus, the owner, all right, that guy's crazy. All right, he just couldn't handle a little competition. Gus left me a voicemail. God knows how he got my number. Hello, this is uh, Gus from the laundromat. Ya bat zona im ima shelach. I hope your mother has cow disease in Florida. Who the f do you think you are? Your Ben. Ben from the laundromat. This is Gus. Uh, give me a call back when you get a chance. I don't know what he's even worried about. Yeah, you know, just one guy. One guy with a lot of friends. Some part of me used to know how to plan ahead, get quarters, bring a book, but that part of me is gone now. Gus, tell him that. Don't tell him that. Do not tell him that.